So moving on to multi-line text now. If we once again use the pull down option up here and select multi-line text, this is more like a little mini word processor. It asks us to specify the corner of a box and we draw a box that we're going to be typing in, specifying the length of our line. What I might do is just shorten that up a bit. So we can type in like so and it wraps around, wraps around within that box and we can go back and change mistakes that we might have made as we were typing and we can select various parts of the text text and we can change our font so we've got heading up here and we've got standard um, we can change the justification, the line spacing, we've got pretty good control, it's, it's like a little mini word processor. Here's our font selection over here, <coughs> so we can apply the whole thing or just to what we've selected. Now in addition, and there's one more thing that we need to know for our title block here, there are some symbols that aren't on the typing keyboard, the normal array, typing array. They are firstly the plus or minus symbol the degrees symbol and not shown on the title block here but you will come across it is the diameter symbol the Greek letter Phi so in multi-line text we can get to that through symbols and they're conveniently placed up the top here degrees plus and minus and diameter so we can actually insert those by just clicking on it if you're using single line text you actually have to use a shortcut key to get to these so you'll notice the percent percent D percent percent P and N C so <coughs> I'll just close that text editor and go back to the single line text to demonstrate that <coughs> so if I was to put in diameter and then press percent percent P Oh, sorry, I hadn't started uh, typing yet. Here we go again. So, diameter. Percent, percent. P. It immediately brings up the plus sign. Um, <coughs> degrees. Percent, percent D. And... The other one was plus or minus. Which was... No, we already got plus or minus. Diameter. I've put up in the wrong spot up there. So that should have been percent percent uh, C for circle. And the plus or minus back down here again. Percent percent P. Okay, so there's our three symbols that we will come across in the engineering drawings. Um, <coughs> one more thing <coughs> with the aligned text. There's another option there, and I'll just draw a bit of a box here to illustrate something. If we use our single line text again, and we go to justify, there are two options here which we haven't covered. Align and fit. Now if we go for align it asks us to specify the first endpoint which I'll put on the corner of that box and the second endpoint there uh, when we type our text in and this is aligned rather than fit you can see that the height was adjusting as we were typing and it, it, it will be different when we go to fit if I now choose justify and fit 
it asks us for two points once again but if I type in the same thing this is fit rather than aligned finish that off you can see that the height of the text is maintained at the height of the style that we're using whereas the aspect ratio of the letters is adjusted when you're using aligned so same thing and that'll go on an angle or horizontal or uh, vertical whatever so that should be enough to allow you to do all of this uh, title block now what I'd suggest to you here <coughs> is that you use Roman S for the simple fonts and Roman T for this uh, more fancy font if you look at it this is all Roman S this might be um, actually Roman I know that looks like Roman S as well uh, just different sizes this has got an obliquing on it now a quick easy way to do this type of thing is if you use single line text we'll just pull that down and get that started again <coughs> I'll switch back to the style of standard and um, we'll just type in two and a half mil is fine angle is fine and let's put in DRN for drawn which is one of these things specified drawn checked approved issued so easiest way to do that type of thing is select that copy it control C and paste it control V and you can keep pasting or you can use the um, copy command copy and paste like so and then come back and just edit that text checked approved and so on and so you can very quickly do the text in that title block okay 